Mr. James Swank, the genial right hand of Mr. A. Atwater Kent. I'm very happy to be present at this demonstration today. Mr. Jack Rogers, Vice President of Causley Radio Corporation and the radio industry's leading golf referee. Glad to be here. Mr. Ed Poor, Chairman of the Board of High Grade Sylvania and the only left-handed golfer that hits them straight. <laughs> I, I trust the machine is doing us justice. We were not selected for our appearance, but for our courage. Mr. Harry Sparks, Vice President and General Manager of the Sparks Withington Company. We wish that his father, Captain Sparks, could also be present today. He's playing down in Florida. Mr. J. R. Howland of the Philadelphia Storage Battery Company. It's a pleasure to be one of the early televisitors. Mr. Ernest Alshuler of the Electrical Research Laboratories. It is indeed a pleasure to be in this initial trial for television. Mr. A. S. Wells, president of the Wells Gardner Company and the Svithiot Singing Club. I'm very glad to be one of those who are present today. Mr. Ben Abrams, president of the Emerson Company and a director of the Radio Manufacturers Association. Thank you for your invitation. I'm glad to be here with you. The antenna from which the program will be transmitted is clearly visible from here on top of the Empire State Building. The receivers are located on the 62nd floor of this, the RCA building. 